Self-treatment of ringworms in a silky terrier. A Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video for vet students and pet owners. Sponsored by Topayo Vets. May 21, 2014. This silky terrier, 13 years old, female, had skin disease for the last two years. The owner had treated it herself and uh, the skin disease did not recover. So she brought it here today. Now, from the examination before the hairs were clipped off, there were a lot of ring-like lesions. You can see the rings, the rings are like this, the rings. Uh, it's more obvious now after after clipping, you can see. So I take I take the skin scraping and check under the microscope. Check under the microscope. That's because the owner is treated it. But there's some, there's some with uh, ringworm spores. Now, the reason there's not much evidence of ringworm spores on the hands is because the owner had treated it, uh, as you can see, with steroid cream. And those areas which she treated, they are black, blackish ring, blackish rings. And uh, they will see this side the same. Now, we turn over this side. Hold the book, text. hold the book. You can see the rings are here, then, like this ring. Like this ring here. These are the cream she applied. She told me it was a steroid cream. And, uh, but obviously, you can't uh, cure ringworm because ringworm is not uh, treated by steroid creams, although it does relieve the itch. So, now after shaving, completely bald, because the owner can't do it herself, she, she did shave the dog, but uh, it was like yeah, remainer, remaining 20% unshaved because of the clipper she had. Now we see below, now the lower part, then, now in this part you can see, these are the area that the owner had applied cream and she, she agreed, she agreed that this was the area she applied cream. This one was very prominently an area of uh, increasing ringworm infection because she applied early on in a small area then it becomes bigger so the more cream she applied over over several weeks uh, it becomes the area becomes black there's another one but this part the ringworm has uh, not been been affected by the cream so it's, it's still pinkish now several rings here you can see rings and all these are the fusion of the area of rings. So now, under microscope, I've checked certain skin hairs. And there was not much evidence of ringworm. So now I'm using ultraviolet light to to uh, see whether it is fluorescence or although it's not positively 100%, but uh, fluorescence of microsporum spores will be uh, will be uh, of the diagnosis. Now you can see the scales. You can see the scale on this side. You, you concentrate on that. You might hold. Okay, you can see the scales here. There. Now you just do, just concentrate on one part. Because one part will do because of the focusing. Eh? One can come up, one leg up. Okay, really, you just focus on one part. Do it for a certain time. Now, there's still fluorescent, a bit fluorescent. As you can see, this is very obvious. Now, the treated part is here in the center, there's the ring. So it doesn't fluorescent because she has used steroid cream. These are the new growing areas of ringworm. Oh, there's another one here. This was the part she treated for some time, but the, actually the actual areas are here, the, the growing areas of ringworm. 
then you can see on the table that's what she complained about scales every day uh, so ultraviolet light shows positive ring bones but uh, is it captured then uh, now you show the side to the dot stand now this should be shown less less ring bone because of the treatment of steroid cream but uh, there may be some fluorescent you can see here so well, the most part have been treated so but you still can see here uh, fluorescent ok turn over the side turn to this side here. sit down first ok that one is a uh, very good example of ring one is the ring shape. So you can see the ring, ring shape. So diagnosis is generalized ring worm. Okay, okay, you got it. Okay, uh, May two, two, uh, May twenty two two zero one four. Now skin diseases in dogs. There are many causes. Not every every uh, cause is uh, ring worm, but uh, in this uh, dog, for example. The cause is ring work and uh, this has to be diagnosed by examination under the microscope or by culture. Now, if you, if you treat it yourself, you need to wash it first with antifungal solution. But first of all, the dog must be clip board. Now, many owners, they don't clip the, the hair board and so they just apply cream and uh, so if it's a ring one with just a few areas, it can, can be, it can, they can do it themselves, uh, self-treatment. But then if it spreads further, more and more, then it's, it's difficult for the owner to, to treat. So as you can see, we have to shave the dog under sedation because the dog is not very happy to be treated. And you can see the whole body has been infected. In fact, the ring bone, especially the top part. Now, self treatment is okay if it's a small area, but the trouble is that when the owner treats use steroids, as in, in this uh, case, in the video, she uses a, a plastic paper and then apply the steroid cream and then rub the way. And so, the more, then she uses the same plastic and then rub on the other side. So, in the end, that dog, not this dog, that dog in the video, has the whole body with ring bone. Now the self treatment of a generalized ring is different. So it's better to consult your vet and get the proper treatment with medication, keeping and uh, review after one month. Otherwise, the whole, whole dog and the whole environment, the whole house is full of ring room spores. So even the house has to be decontaminated as well. Normally, I advise uh, Clorox 1% of what you use for. So, so disinfect the house and uh, the best is to review the case after four weeks, to the four weeks other than then uh, forget about it. The so phone self treatment is uh, if you're not successful after let's say one month then best